uh, here's my uh, 2016 A3 S-Line Cabriolet. It's the two liter TFSI, uh, 220 horsepower. I'm gonna be installing the AFE power uh, cold air uh, intake. So this is stock, this is what it sounds stock. I'll go and uh, rev it up a little bit so that we can hear the before and the after. So as you can hear, it's pretty uh, gutless uh, sounding anyway, the, uh, the 220 uh, uh, horsepower. Um, now there's no exhaust done or anything, this is completely stock. I will be installing the AFE and in a few weeks I'll be installing the Magnaflow uh, uh, exhaust system which should give it a little bit more grunt, I hope. Uh, so. Okay, so let's start removing the uh, stock air box. Uh, there's a bunch of screws here. So we're gonna take them out slowly. It uses a uh, Torx, uh, what number is that? Uh, Torx 20. So we'll just remove that. You only have to remove the top of the box because uh, the uh, AFC uses the bottom of the box. And so we keep the stock box. Let me see that I get all the screws. Okay, you also have to remove the. Wow, that's a little tough to remove that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I count with eight screws. The engine is absolutely boiling hot. There's a vacuum tube here that slowly comes out, and then there's a, some type of mass airflow sensor or smog sensor. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, mine is a Canadian vehicle, so I'm not sure if they all have that. Oh, I missed one screw here. Okay, very good. Now there's a seven mil screw or bolt holding the, uh, I guess the three inch tube to the throttle body or the turbo. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know, but whatever it's called, I already undid that. That's the, it was pretty tough to do. So there we go. That's the stock top of the air filter. Here is the stock air filter. It's pretty much brand new. The car is brand new. Now that I'm looking at the inside of this. There's kind of this ribbed piece that's blocking all the airflow. Wow, that's okay. Oh, hold on. You can remove that. Uh, come out. Don't want to break it. Whoops. <laughs> I just broke that. Okay. Not a big deal. But, uh, there we go. Wow, look at that. This was inside. Broke a couple of these little pieces. That's quite restrictive. Uh, I guess it's some type of a dust cover or something, but now you have pure, it's completely opened in here. This is great. Okay, so we'll remove that and this.
this is basically it. Okay. So here's the AFC. It's really nicely made. I have to admit that it is really nicely made. And this pretty much sits like that, I guess. And then I have the top. Okay, so I guess this could sit top. Okay. Oh, yeah, it fits right in. I'll assemble this properly after, just so that we cannot. There we go. That's very nicely done. And this will go something like that. Wow, very nice. Okay, and I even have the cover plate, which will go right on top there. Okay, so let's start putting it together. The AFC kit also comes with a bunch of really nice stickers. I don't think I'll put them on the car, but they, uh, wow, really nice actually. Engineered adrenaline, yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so here's the connector to go into the throttle body. This is a connector for the uh, filter. All right, so let's put this all together. Here. Oops. Just tighten it a little bit, not all the way, just so that it stays in place. I am a lefty. So, okay, there we go. This all fits in nicely. This guy. You know what? Maybe put this on first. Okay, that throttle body connector is actually plastic. Okay, I'm gonna press pause and we'll come back to this once I put it together. Okay, so I just uh, installed it. I screwed everything down. This uh, small thing or whatever it's called is a little bit difficult to maneuver, but you just have to pull it out and stretch it out properly. And um, this is all good. It's all nice and tight. So let's start it up and see. It kind of, I kind of feel like the hood's not going to close because this is kind of high. Uh, let's see. No, okay, it closes, so that, that's a good sign. Okay, so let's uh, open it up again and let's get this puppy started.
definitely makes a noise, that's for sure. Um, okay, I'm not sure if I like the noise or not, but we'll, uh, we'll live with it. Everything's nice and tight on there. Okay, I'm gonna put the cover also. Let's see if that changes the noise. Start it again and see if that changes anything. sounds louder with this thing open but I can imagine it's gonna suck in all kinds of uh, warm air so let me just put this top back in there we go. okay so that's a pretty uh, easy install I'm gonna go take a test drive and see how it sounds in person when we're driving out on the road. Now, will it add much power? Well, <laughs> I don't know. You know, all these, uh, they show all these dyno tests, oh, 20 horsepower, I don't know, whatever they claim this one does. I'm a little bit suspicious, but Okay, we're going for a drive. Uh, at least the advantage of having a convertible will be able to hear a little bit outside. I don't think it makes too much noise, but let's see. of a blow-off noise you know the, the people that put those blow-off valves it kind of has that uh, that noise well, I guess it's cool yeah you don't really hear it much all right so uh, not too much on that uh, that sound I think when you're outside the car you can hear it but inside not too much oh well